May the 29th, 2018. Guys, my voice still isn't back to 100%, I guess you can tell, but you're looking at a map of the Big Island. 350 or 331 earthquakes at the time of this video is showing up today. Now, none of them have been large. You've had a couple of eruptions that have came in as a 4.5. And if you look at the map, look at the little diamond shapes. These are either dynamite blast or some type of explosion. But in this case, a 4.5 earthquake showed up from the volcanic um, eruption itself. Guys, this is a tremendous swarm on the top of Kilauea. You can see also through the southern rift area. And this would be on the southeastern side of the Big Island. Guys, remember the first uh, earthquake in, that started this series was a 6.5. The southern rift zone there moved about 21 inches. Still moving. Now 24 different fissures. 30 more homes, more evacuation. And now lava is covering some of the wells. I think there were, what, guys, about 13 or so of the wells that were at the uh, geothermal plant there. Now, guys, it, it's amazing if you think about this because along that line, the geothermal plant was drilling at, and these holes are 8,000 feet apiece. Think about that. That's almost a mile and a half. So very dangerous area. It's not going to get any better. Why? We've got a, what we, you would call in this case, an equatorial coronal hole, simply because it's along the equator of the sun. It's a, like a clear day on this, on this surface of the earth, no clouds. In this case, if you look just above that at that sunspot, you can see those large magnetic lines. And they normally capture the energy from one side, feed it back into the sun. But in the dark, purple areas that solar wind is escaping at tremendous velocity and heading to our planet the satellite that's taking these images is earth facing not only that this sunspot is starting to flare up we haven't seen this in a long time now notice the timestamp this happened earlier today on may 29th the sunspot is turning earth facing now what's more critical than that and you see the sunspot here as it passed over what's called the Venus magnetic point. The sunspot's moving from left to right in this direction. It takes about 14 days for a half rotation of a sunspot. But as it crossed over the magnetic connection point between Venus and the sun, and guys, that's what holds them in this elliptical orbit, okay? Is it threw off that flare. Now it's about to come through the magnetic field connectivity point solar connectivity point of mercury then in the blue dot it will be followed by earth those are the most dangerous every solar cycle when they get to the area with the earth we have a tremendous gravitational pull compared to some of these other planets but it seems to kick out the strongest flares at that point now what happens is you can have a coronal mass ejection that will take uh, 24 to 48 hours for that energy to strike our planet but you have an, a photon event, which is light particles, not proton, photon. Speed of light, it travels from 8.2 minutes to our planet. Now, we're averaging 39 million miles as far as the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So you, you can calculate that and figure the speed of light. But in 8.2 minutes, if you have a solar flare, when it crosses one of these, 8.2 in 8.2 minutes, the magnetic shields of our planet will feel that impact, and we have very weak shields. But again, we are going into a ge geomagnetic storm, a G1, tomorrow. So it's not going to get any better in Hawaii. We're seeing more and more lava pull up, and then it will drop down inside that main cone. But when that happens, the outer edges of that lava cone as the lava was high and rising up in it are now crumbling back into the crater as some of the energy is released what happens then it stops up the top of the crater it blows out more fissures and a lot of these have popped out in uh, again to the southeastern section the lower rift zone of the big island and again, you're dealing 25 miles from the craters where it's blowing out. So as you stop at that top again, you're going to have more 
uh, fissures opening down more lava flowing guys there's already the lava flows as big as Hilo and some of the bigger cities on the island if you compare that but guys uh, again I'm gonna put up a another video later tonight but I want you to watch the attached video directly from Hawaii guys pay very close attention to it if you're still there you're trying to hang on the paradise it could cost you dearly it's a heads up be safe you know we continue to monitor and will monitor and we do have systems in place to inform the public should we believe uh, that there is a risk to their health with lava about to overrun wells at Puna Geothermal Venture, emergency measures in place will finally be put to the test. The flow stalled this morning but picked up again this afternoon. Despite reassurances, some residents still fear possible well explosions and the release of hydrogen sulfide. But authorities say they're confident they don't expect anything to happen even if lava covers some of the wells. Also today, Fisher 24 opened up in Leilani Estates and Vents 8 and 16 reactivated. But the biggest producer is still Fisher 7, which has two main channels, one going toward PGV and the other heading south, which could start a new ocean entry in the next couple of days. Scientists say for the past few days, Fisher 21 has been erupting an a'a flow that slowly moved on to the Puna Ju Thermal Venture property. The lava is close to reaching four wells on well pad E, including KS-14, the one that resisted quenching efforts and had to be plugged with a clay substance. It is difficult for me to imagine in which case, in what case we would get hydrogen sulfide from KS-14 as a result of the intrusion of the lava. Uh, that doesn't mean that there may not be a case that, that uh, I haven't anticipated. We've got a sufficient plug that's in there. Uh, we would have liked to have put in the metal plug, but we're confident that that plug will, will maintain its mechanical integrity. A special Pacific Air cargo flight from Los Angeles to Kona is arriving this evening. On board, about 200,000 pounds of a mud-like substance that will be used at the PGV facility. It is a, um, a product that can be mixed with water and um, used to um, you know, try and contain any explosion uh, at the geothermal facility. We feel confident that the risk has been mitigated. You know, we continue to monitor and will monitor, and we do have systems in place to inform the public should we believe uh, that there is a risk to their health. Starting today, the State Department of Transportation is lowering the speed limit on Highway 130 to 25 miles per hour near mile markers 14.4 and 14.6. Officials say the change is necessary for the safety of residents driving over the steel plates installed over cracks caused by volcanic activity. Over in Malama Homestead farm lots, lava has surrounded the home belonging to resident Nicolette Duvries. The house is still standing, but the flow has completely cut off access in and out of the area to the 20-acre organic farm. Where we've planted over um, 300 different types of tropical fruit trees and such over the last four years, um, everything is just dead. Comparing these two satellite images shows that over at Kilauea Summit, the eruptive vent continues to expand as a result of magma withdrawing from directly beneath Halemaumau Crater. Without the support of that magma, the crater walls, uh, the newly exposed crater walls, basically are sloughing off and uh, falling into that.